delicious. Yeah, there's something to mix it with. Then a spoon, like a tablespoon, something like that. Then, in, then um, flour, so I'm just using chocolate high grade white flour. Or you can use corn starch or corn flour. Then some uh, dish cushion soap. So let's start. Okay. So first thing we'll be um, doing is some high grade white flour. I'm only going to be making a small batch here. So first, so I'm going to be using first of all one tablespoon, about tablespoonish of white flour. I'm going to make a small batch, obviously. Before uh, last time, I added three tablespoons of flour, and then I'm going to be add, adding two tablespoons of some um, dishwashing soap. soapy on your hands, but you just want to keep on doing this. Okay. So just spray it onto the other hand, squish, and then just kneading it, and basically until it, until it starts to not stick to your hands anymore. And it's already doing that a little bit. And then don't get frustrated if it doesn't work the first time, and stuff like that. And it's not really, it's not exactly like a putty. It's not as stretchy as it. But if you do go slowly, or if you have warm hands or something, um, it will like stretch. Like if you saw on my Instagram, 
stretch. Okay. So one way to get it also off your hands is just roll it in like, like that. It just helps to collect itself. And then I've got the bowl, I've got a little bit of flour still left in there. So I'm just going to take that. But you don't really need very much any more flour. And it's going to take You have to be patient with this. You can't, like, you have to mix more than you think. I didn't mix too much after they stopped the video and before, but I saw it mixed a bit to get it off my hands. Okay, so I've almost finished now. And your putty, it's kind of like Play-Doh, but a little bit more like fun than Play-Doh. And um, with the putty, for the putty gooey stylish thing, um, it, you can also use it as stress ball. It's quite nice to just squish and it, it shouldn't, you know that you're done when it doesn't stick your fingers and at the start when you put the water it'll stick to your fingers quite a lot. Like it'll stick to your hand quite a lot. It still is sticking a little bit but not really. See? But it's not really like because of the water that I did but it's not gone. So just want to keep mixing it in and after a while your hands will kind of like absorb a bit of it and if it really your slime's looking bad you can also add a little bit of of a uh, soap but I'm not really I'm not actually gonna do that because because uh, I don't think I need to so this is what it should look like okay this is what it should look like it shouldn't stick it shouldn't stick to your hands but it'll take quite a I think I need to mix it a little bit more, but I can't be bothered now. Um, it shouldn't it shouldn't stick to your hands. You can tell. See, wait. Like you might squish it. It sticks a bit because I've got water, but gone. It's, it shouldn't be like stringy or like watery. Uh, if it's watery, add more soap or um, like kind of like liquidy. And if it's too much, like. And if it's like too dry and like kind of like hard, add more. Uh, oh no, sorry. If it's too liquidy, add more flour. And if it's too soapy, then you should. Uh, I mean, if it's too like it's hard, and um, then you should add some more soap or a little bit of water. But soap works best. And I don't know if you need a specific brand. I haven't tried any other brands, but I uh, don't think so. Okay, so see, as you can see, it's not sticking to my hands whatsoever. Like that, not sticking. That was from the, from the water. Okay, so it shouldn't stick at all, as you can see. And it's kind of like doughy-ish consistency. See, as, as you can see, you can't, if you pull it kind of faster, then it doesn't really like stretch very far. As you can see right there. But if you pull it slow, it stretches a lot. So yeah, show you close up. Okay, so close up now. on the slime. Should look like this. Very fun to, to play with. And if it's and it does not stick. I think the best part about this um, Delish slime thing is that it doesn't stick to your hands. And I think the worst part is that it doesn't really stretch very far. But if you do take, if you have, do you have like warm hands and like go slowly and have a little bit more, then you can actually like, you can actually do that and then you just kind of, like, you can actually like stretch it. But right now you can't, it's kind of like doughy so you can't really stretch it very far. But it's still fun to play with, it's like stressful kind of. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Hey guys, Bye. hey guys, so this is just a really quick video. I'm um, going in the pop that slime just like this, but um, I've been doing a quick like share question, like kind of like tab thing, and I'm making up on the spot real quick before I go on the pop. So, yeah, okay. So, the first question is going to be what chair level are you on? And I'm on level three. Okay, so the next question is going to be, are you a flyer, base, 
Fat Spot, Tumblr, or Fat Spot. And did I just say Tumblr? Sorry. Fly Base, Fat Spot, Fat Spot, or Tumblr. Like, oh, sorry. Tumblr is like if you tumble in the front of stunts. And I am a flyer, I fly stuff. Um, the next one is going to be what's your hardest standing tumble? That's a uh, standing tumble. What's your hardest running tumble? Mine is a round off um, layout or a tuck. Or, yeah. Um, thinking of questions. Um, Oh yeah. Would you rather be point flyer, point center? Sorry, point flyer, point jumper, or point dancer? Um, if I was flyer, point center. If I was base or base or something like that, I would want to be point dancer. Um, hmm. What what is what like stunts do you do in your team? In, in your team? Like this. So one of them is like we like the base is like this and like you jump into their hands and then they dip you and then they go to an extension in one man. Then they walk you and then they throw you and you do a full down like that. And your arms are like first of all you go one, two, three, four, I do five, six, full down. Then for the other sun, because we haven't finished our team yet. For the other sun we um, like jump into like a, kind of like a basket to the toss position, then we stand up and put our arms out, and then we, and then they dip us, and then we full twist and catch them, and then they dip us twice, and then we basket toss. And then, okay, now, what standing tumbles in your routine? So at the moment we have a back hook over snap, back handspring, th um, so like you do a back handspring, then you quickly go like this, then have the then back handspring, yeah, and then we also have toe touch, back handspring, back handspring, and for just jump, and for jumps, we have just a, like just jump, it's, um, turn to the right, pike, at the toe. So, that's some of the questions. Um, uh, and then, this is not like, um, like, this is not planned out, this is a video, um, oh, um, how did you get into cheerleading, and into cheerleading, basically what I did is, um, I did gymnastics for, quite, for a long time, like six years, and then I saw this thing called C. Well, I did gymnastics for a while. Then I saw this thing called CCR and I wanted to start chilling, but then we never did. And then um, we did gymnastics for another like two years, and then we saw a like, cool star thing at like our gym, and we're like, oh my god, we really want to do that. So we did a trial class, and we were like, oh, I don't know if we're gonna do this because like. Yeah, we didn't know, like, and if we were going to start, we would start at the end of the year, but we did a try class, and I like, I think we loved it so much, well, this is not here, but I loved it so, so much that I continued doing it for the, that rest of that year and stuff, and then I did it this year, so this is technically my first whole year, I did a little bit last year, but, yeah, basically how I got into cheerleading. So I'm going to do the last questions. I know it's like a short video and I just don't know what to really say. Um, last question. Hmm. Oh. Who is your favourite cheerleader? My favourite cheerleader is Gabby Butler. So yeah, don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'll see you later.